Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this verification fail. There's an error connecting to the Apple server. This is an issue that we see constantly on iPhones, and we're going to show you guys a couple ways to fix this issue. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of the newer devices, like the one that I'm holding here, make sure you guys check out the link in the description description section for the discounted phone. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do whenever you have this issue is actually check your time and uh, date. So that's really important because what happens is when it connects to Apple server, it actually sends that information. Like a timestamp has to match up with your region. If it doesn't, it usually has issues connecting. And simply to see that you are in the right time and date, you're going to open up settings. And once you open up settings you're going to want to go ahead and go to general and once you're in, you're in general you're going to want to go to time date and time here click on that and then either you can set it to set automatically and if it's not setting to the right time zone that you have you can set it up and then manually select your region that you're in so if you're in new york you might want to do that if you're in california or wherever you are you want to go ahead and select that region and that should resolve your issue and now try it again and if that didn't work for you the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and check check out your updates on your phone to make sure you have the latest update and simply to do that you're going to go to settings and then go to general here and then software update and wait for a software update and if you see that there's an update that needed, go ahead and download and install that update on your phone because you want to make sure you have the latest software. And once you have done that, and if you're still not seeing that issue, the next step, number three, you're going to want to do is make sure that you're connected to either Wi-Fi or cellular data. In this case, we have Wi-Fi on. And what you want to do is go ahead and click on that and forget that network. So once you forget that network and you click that and reconnect to your network again, what this is sometimes is that your phone, your phone probably has issues connecting to the internet. And to do that, simply you're going to go ahead Click on the Wi-Fi again, and this time type in your password again. And go ahead, connect to your Wi-Fi that you have here. We have a demo Wi-Fi. Make sure it's connected and you're getting full bar. And now try to sign into your Apple account or using uh, FaceTime uh, using your App Store again. And hopefully that resolves the issue. And if that hasn't resolved the issue, the next thing you're going to want to do is simply go ahead and click on your account. And this time we're going to go ahead and sign out. And once you sign out, it's going to ask for your password. Put your password in and then try when it signs you back out, then sign back in again. And hopefully that resolves the issue. And if that hasn't resolved the issue, the next thing you're going to want to do is simply power off the phone. So here I have a iPhone 12 Pro and to power this one on, I'm going to hold the side button and the volume up button. It's slightly different, but depending on your phone, you might just have to press the power button. We're going to go ahead and turn it off and this will allow the phone to you know, go back to the default settings that they have that are built in like your time settings and things like that that could have been messed up during an update or some kind of just using it over time and then you're going to go ahead and power it back on here for us we just hold the side button and then once we see the apple logo it's powering on and we're going to wait till it powers on and try to connect to our app store or wherever you are that you're seeing that verification fail and hopefully that resolves the issue and if that hasn't resolved the issue the next thing you're going to want to do is check out what's known as apple services status and what that is is we'll show you guys so you want to go ahead to your browser and type in apple system statuses and once you click on that it'll take you to apple.com to their site here so if you look at the app it's apple.com slash support slash system status what that means is with all these services that you're using sometimes a service might not be available 
or it's down and they're having issues. As you can see here, all of these services are available. If it's not available, they'll report there's an issue that they're trying to fix out. So for example, if you're trying to use the App Store and having this verification fail each time you try to sign in and this service is down, that means there's an issue and you're gonna have to wait till Apple resolves it or any of these other Apple services that you get like FaceTime, your iCloud Drive, things like that. You wanna always check this page and if there's an outage there, it will report here for you. So hopefully all of these tips either helped you solve your problem or if you still have issue, please leave a comment in the comment section or if any of them work for you, put a comment section in the comment uh, as well. Thanks for watching guys, see you guys next time.